Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger again with another solar power video. Today is Sunday the 17th of August and the weather outside is well, it has been sunny with clouds and the sun comes in and out. When the sun comes out it's fairly bright and when it clouds over it gets reasonably dark as you can see it's a bit breezy outside anyway indoors I'm charging my big solar lantern and the small solar lantern from the Sunsaver Duo and I'm charging a power box the power box is just under 14 volts and the Sunsaver is flashing away there to show that both the lanterns are charged Anyway, the main thing today is, if I take you to the main system, those of you that have seen my previous videos will notice that the solar panel input meter is now missing. The reason for this is I have removed it because it has developed a strange fault. This meter has been in place for about nine months and it replaced the previous meter which just died. This one developed an interesting fault. i show you a similar meter. This is the one on the DC side. But the problem on the meter that was on the input was the amp reading kept going to zero, which means that the, the watt meeting reading also went to zero. And it was doing this for randomly. If you gave the meter a sharp tap, it would come back to life again, and then the amp readings and the watts reading would be displayed again. But it kept doing this, and it started doing this two or three days ago. And the problem with this is that every time it goes to zero, the watt hour reading would not go up, and nor would the amp hour reading. So at the end of the day, the readings would be stupidly low and with the readings would not provide any useful information. So I have had two meters that have failed on me. The first one the display just went blank and now the second one had a strange thing where the amp reading and the watts reading just went to zero. The voltage readings would work perfectly so I don't know what was wrong with that. Anyway as you can see the charge controller has the green light on showing that the battery is fully charged and I've been charging my devices so that's that if I take you to the charge controller meter you can see that I am now producing just over 2 amps from the charge controller and everything is working ok so anyway I have ordered a replacement meter I also ordered a second light bulb, so that will be coming soon. And that is just an overview. I'm using my charger as well, as you can see. Some of the batteries are done now. And that is what I'm doing today. So if you buy these watt meters off of eBay, then in my experience they have they, are, they work fine while they are working and they provide you with lots of useful information but from my experience they have a little question, question on their longevity mine have lasted approximately a year before giving up but as they are not too expensive, they are under £20 I guess you can just buy a replacement, but it is a pain to fit a replacement. So that's just something to bear in mind with the equipment. So I will leave you with this thought, and this is Solar Tiger saying goodbye, and thank you for watching. Until next time, thank you.